Exactly, Andy. No matter what kind of shape we're in, some of us still have a so-called trouble spot that just won't cooperate no matter what. Well, celebrity creator and best-selling author Bruce Cron has cracked this code for us all in his new book, Trouble Spot, Fat Loss, Lose Weight, Build Muscle, and Say Goodbye to Problem Areas for Good. And Bruce is here to share some tips with us this morning. Hi. Hi. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. So what is it about these trouble spots? Because, you know, people can just work out and work out and work out, and it's just so difficult. What's going on there? Yeah, that, well, really. Really, it, it boils down to a few things. But one of the things that's really interesting, I think people would like to hear, is about how fat, in terms of hormones, how the hormones interact with the fat and how this is affected by blood flow. So, uh, like right now, if you're sitting there at home and if you touch your face, yeah. okay, you'll notice your face is really warm. Yes. Okay, so it's warm. And let's say you touch one of your trouble spots. Maybe it's your love handles, maybe it's the butt <laughs> fat, maybe it's the bingo wings, whatever it is, okay? <laughs> Those names. The ones that wave. Um, you'll notice it's significantly cooler. So oh. there's a difference in, in the way the blood interacts with that fat. So this can be affected by diet. So this oh. book is all about how you can manipulate your diet and training to access that fat more efficiently. Oh, isn't that interesting? Yeah. And what about men and women? They sort of carry, they can have different trouble spots, can't they? Oh, they sure can. Um, if you look at a typical guy, like it's very rare to see a guy who carries a lot of fat, say, for example, on his thighs. Right. Right. And hip and thigh fat's not so common with, with men. Right. But certainly with women, this is a, a major a huge factor. Huge area. Yes. Uh, but generally speaking, men have it easier than women. Okay. Right. Guys, we cut back on our beer. What is that about? You know, we cut back on the chips. <laughs> you, you hit the gym a couple days a weekend, right. you tend to get some results. Right. But for women, it can be more problematic, especially yes. if they start to go through menopause. Exactly. But I do address that in the book mm -hmm. regarding the hormones and how it affects not only the blood flow, but also the where you carry your fat. Fascinating. It's about the hormones. So we have all this wonderful food here. Yeah. Why don't we start over here? Tell us just a little bit about why we're talking about these nuts and things. Well, the typical breakfast that a person eats, and mm -hmm. you may be eating it right now, is uh, not so great for mobilizing those really? hard to lose fat zones. It spikes up insulin too high. Right. So you're having like refined grains, you're having orange In juice. In your cereal sort of or something and cereal, yeah. It's not so good. So what we wanna do is have higher protein, higher fat selections before you exercise. So it keeps your insulin levels more stable and this helps your body to better able access fat for energy. Uh, so the, these kind of things like we have Greek yogurt and berries, raw nuts and seeds, my personal favorite you eggs. You love the eggs. The eggs have been unjustly vilified right. for so many years. I mean, we've got to bring them back. The whole egg, not this egg white nonsense. Uh, really eat the whole egg. It has lots of nutrition in there. It will not wreck your, your uh, cholesterol levels. Uh, you and then, what does the water do for you? Well, that's, that's a great question. The lemon water, first thing in the morning, is a gentle detoxification of the liver. That helps with fat burning. Uh, it also makes your body more alkaline, less acidic. Oh. And an alkaline pH of the blood also improves the efficiency of blood flow. So Getting that helps. back to those trouble areas. Back to the trouble spots. So again, with the uh, the lemon water first thing in the morning, great way to start the day. Right. Now, this happens to be a friend of mine. I love the coffee, yeah, right? The, the world's biggest addiction. Right, exactly. Yeah. What does this do for us or not do? Well, ca you know, caffeine is excellent when used responsibly. So when you have caffeine pre-exercise, mm -hmm. it can help to raise up cortisol, which when used strategically That's is a stress good. stress hormone, isn't it? It's good for fat loss pre-exercise. Oh. Uh, Post-exercise, you want to bring cortisol back down, so you okay. wouldn't want to have too much caffeine after your workout. Right. But it's also dose dependent. About 50 to 100 milligrams is ideal. If you're having three, 400 milligrams of caffeine a day, right. it can burn out your adrenal glands. Oh, and that is that's very problem. bad no from a fat loss standpoint. Wow. And what have we got here? So we've got a bit of toast again. Yep. Uh, High protein there too. We got. We always got to have the protein. Yes. This is a must. Okay. Yeah. So that's one thing you want to always include in your meals. But this is higher carbohydrates, so you have your higher carb selections post-exercise. Okay. Uh, it's a better time. Your body's better able to manage it. Um, and so you can certainly, you could even throw in other things that are more treat oriented, like a piece of cake right. if you want to on occasion. There's not, there's room for everything on this diet. It's just about how you do it strategically. Right. And is this one of those anytime meals? That's anytime. Yeah. There like, you we could have that right now. Did you see this? I would totally eat that right now. I would eat that right now. It's a and great breakfast. I always breakfast. notice the color, right? The colors yeah. are so fantastic. Wonderful. Yeah. Bruce, thank you so much. We've got the book on our website yeah. if you're working for more information. Anybody can yes. pick it up there. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having fantastic me. Fantastic information. Awesome. About the hormones. There you go. Dave, how's our roads?